Welcome to Learn Sibelius 6 in one hour. You can download a PDF of the Eroica score that we'll copy in this course from my website www.composerhome.com. If you want, you can also download catch-up files which allow you to jump straight into any individual lesson. And now there's an ebook for you to download to your PC, Mac or mobile device from www.amazon.com. Just search for Learn Sibelius. In this lesson, we're going to learn to input notes with the mouse. We're going to input the chord in the first bar of Beethoven's Eroica Symphony in every single part. At the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you might have discovered the keypad. This is its default position. So we can simply add notes with the mouse by clicking on a note length on the keypad. For instance, the crotchet here, or quarter note. When I click on that, the button will go blue to show that it's selected, and when I move the mouse back over the score, you're going to see a grey ghost note. That grey ghost note is showing the pitch that is going to be input when I click into the score. As I move up and down, the grey ghost note moves up and down. I can also move it to the left and right, and it will show me the position within the bar to the nearest crotchet. So if I want to put a note straight on the second beat, like that, I can. So we're going to click in the chord from the first note in the flute here and right down to the bottom. So we've got every note in every single part. As I click in each note, you'll hear that it plays back. We're not going to worry about the staccato, any articulation marks or dynamics right now. And what you need to learn to do is to put both notes of the chord in at once. If I put in, say, one note of the oboe and one note in the clarinet and then go back to the oboe, I'll overwrite the oboe part. And we're going to learn later on a little bit more about editing chords as we go. So for now, just remember to put both notes into a chord at once. Now, what should you do if you make a mistake? Well, you need to learn a couple of best friends, as I call them. Let's start by imagining that you've put in the wrong note into the clarinet part, say this F. Now, you might click again to try and correct the note or keep clicking and dragging to put notes in different places. What actually happens in Sibelius is that you end up with a fairly ugly looking cluster there. So the reason for this is because the mouse pointer is still blue. Effectively, we're in create mode. So wherever we click, we're going to keep creating new notes. So the first thing we need to do is cancel that and we cancel it with the escape button. Now you can see that my mouse pointer has gone black. Escape is exceptionally useful in Sibelius and that's why I call it your best friend. It will also cancel playback, cancel recording, cancel dialogue boxes that you've got open, cancel a selection, get you out of pretty much any trouble you can get yourself into. And once we've cancelled input, we can drag notes up and down, we can delete them, and we can effectively get ourselves out of trouble. When you've finished fixing your changes, you'll want to go back into create mode so you can put the correct notes in again. So press escape another couple of times to make sure you've got nothing selected, then click on the crotchet on the keypad and go back to the part and continue putting the notes in. Another thing that's worth mentioning at the moment, probably your second best friend, is the undo function, which is command and Z on a Mac or control and Z on a PC. Now another shortcut that will help you fix pitches as you put them in, I've just put a wrong note here in my bassoon part, is that you can nudge them with the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard. So you can see that D is actually a step away from where it should be. I press the up key and the down key and I can nudge it into position. Now I'm going to do the cooking show trick here and jump to a one that I prepared earlier. So you can see here that I've put all notes into the score and I'm going to check that I've got all of the notes right by simply playing it back and see if I recognise that famous chord of Beethoven's from the start of this symphony. So to do that, go up to the playback window, check that the green playback line is at the start of the score and then press the green play button. There we go. Sounds perfect to me. You'll soon spot a wrong note in there. So remember, the most important thing from this lesson is escape is your best friend and remember to press escape a couple of times before you start note entry each time.